Grimy, grimy, grimy. You know the business is definitely going down in the Dago streets. Downtown San Diego, we're keeping it super grimy, if you know what I mean, man. I'm right here with New Wild, man, and it's the business, huh, boy? Now, I got to say, man, there's a couple cats right here that I've been doing business with for, like, the past years, and they got their new group, man, and it's definitely knocking, if you know what I mean. Now, Big Man, you got to tell us, man, when did this group transpire? When did this group actually start, man? Because I know you two as, like, solo cats, but also doing a little duo thing, man. What brought you to this group? How, how did this whole thing start, man? Well, you know what I'm saying? After the Skyline shit, you know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of trials and tribulations, you know, going back and forth to, you know what I'm saying, jail, a lot of drug uses. I bumped back into my partner right there. You know, we've been friends for a long time, over 10 years, you know what I'm saying? And he had this hot group called New All Entertainment, and it was already doing shows in San Diego with Big Daddy and, and such other promoters around town. You know what I'm saying? We put our little money together. You know what I'm saying? We got quality production on there from Steve Vicious. We start cracking out hit after hit. We acquired other artists around San Diego, like Cat and my homeboy Elijah. You know what I'm saying? It's not about no, no banging shit. You know what I'm saying? But niggas will get grimy with you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will kill for this shit. So don't get it fucked up. Just because we mingle with everybody, don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And try to play a nigga or something. Make a nigga weak. But you know what I'm saying? I got with my nigga. We start bumping out hot 16s. You know what I'm saying? Let me say, let's take this to the next level. Yeah, grimy. Aha, uh -huh, you know the business. Now, Grizz, man, now... Explain to us, man, where is this group going? Because, you know, I know that you already have things going and so on. Where do you see this group in two to three years, man? Actually, in about two to three years, I see us going to wherever, you know, our body wants to take us to and our minds wants to take us to. The only person that can stop us right now is ourselves. as far as that. You know, uh, as far as what we're doing in this music business right now, we brought a positive environment to San Diego with music. It makes everybody want to get out there and dance. It makes you really want to feel good. That's what I wanted to create with my peoples right here. You know, it's, 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 it's that hard stuff that you want to lay back and chill. Club stuff. It's that family feel good stuff. So it makes you relate. It makes you want to actually realize what music is about. When we form new entertainment that's why i wanted to do new entertainment because i love to deal with families i love to deal with the community i love san diego so i really want everybody to feel that and I, that's why i put this group together me and big man got together we was like let's go ahead and let's form this and let's do this the right way and really rep the town the right way two or three years man you know tell it, man i see us really in the town you know maybe with our own studio out here doing more stuff with the grimy wreck doing stuff real big and it's, it's going to be big in the next couple of years i see it coming god it's destined when you dream it you're going to live it so people got to realize that when you dream it, you're going to live it. Now, now, y'all got to tell me about this song that we did a little video thing to, man. Explain, explain the song. What's, what's the name of the song? What's it about? What is it pertaining to? Well, you don't want it with me. Uh, <laughs> Steve Vicious on the track. You know, we kind of crazy. You know, Big Man heard the verse, heard the beat actually on the internet. He was sitting there listening to the beat for a few minutes. He called me. He was like, man. These cats be all doing all this type of music and all this stuff in the game. And it was like, man, do they really want it with us? And I was like, I don't know, dog. I don't think so. He came over there, man. It, ba it basically is saying it's like you don't really want it with New Orleans Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? In all levels of the game right now, we hit you with music. We hit you with uh, what uh, streets in the game knowledge with as far as job sense, as far as family sense, as far as everything that's going on in the game right now. So basically, niggas don't really want it with us if they don't want to get embarrassed with a lot of different ways that we're handling ourselves and handling ourselves in the street. I'm real because we're positive individuals. Every everybody, everybody gang bang and everybody did they stuff in life but homie it's about being positive and it's about taking this stuff to the next level if niggas don't want to go to the next level don't deal with you all there because that's where we're going to the next level in the 619 you know what i'm saying because we got a lot of a lot of niggas a lot of people out here that's very talented you know what i'm saying that that's getting overlooked but we plan to you know what i'm saying to do away with that when we release this album called no worries coming 2008 you know what i'm saying so look out for no worries new all entertainment 2008 you know what i'm saying well, well you know Enough talking about it. Let's watch it, man. They about to be about it. Crimey, we out.